hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are watching me for the first time my name my name is lena Kretsch. thank you so much for tuning in in my channel and uh, if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support once again i'll, I'll always appreciate you because uh you've been supporting me you've been like you've been amazing and again, kama wewe ni mgeni hapa, karibu sana. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Na, and again, go back, watch my previous videos. And yeah, get to know what you always do in this channel. So today, um, I've just decided to like share with you about us. Uh, okay, the year is coming to an end. And so I just thought of sharing with you some of the memories and... Uh, that happened to me this um, this year and mimi nataka tu ni wape story as i relate with some of the happiest memories i i had during this year and i hope you will just uh continue vibing with me as i continue telling you my story uh, uh, story and i hope you will enjoy this video so um I'll start by saying that this year imekuwa like up and down na ijakuwa like uh, the way unajua kianzanga here uko like I have some resolutions I have some things to achieve some goals and some plans of the year but sometimes vitu wa is inenda mrama but again you must like be grateful of just one thing that God has done to you this uh, in a certain year and yeah, ina kuanga tu like one thing yenye uwezi sahau kwa all those years that has happened to you. So me, um, I just decided to share with you some of like one of my like memorable, happiest or even those nice things about this year that happen, has happened to me before the year ends. Because imebaki tu like around uh, kitu kama two weeks kama sijakosea alafu to malize this year this 2022 now i remember uh, i got my son like november last year and today i'm just going to share with you about my son cuz na feel yendo ali make like my my hair ikakuwa like amazing happy and just uh, just a year to remember and a year to just a cry, laugh, and just any near to your memory. When I look at him, I just feel like uh, there is God and there is God of happiness. And Akuna uh, Kenyo in Ashinda God, by the way. So I'm just going to share with you my uh, little story about my son and some of the challenges and little two mobs in Yazimeni Fanikia and I am this year. So I got my son uh, November 22nd last year and um, I can remember very well uh, I, I lizaliwa like underweight like my baby alitoka 1.9 kgs and nilishtuka like I was like why na venye nilikuwa nakula and I was okay my pregnancy was my bump was a very small bump by the way but I was big like akuna kenye siku kwa nakula during my pregnancy period so me i thought my baby is very healthy my baby is fine cuz akuna like hizo clinics zote nilikuwa na visit akuna yenye nilikuwa naambiwa or the doctors akuna uh, they waliwai complain about anything all they could tell me is the baby is fine the baby is healthy and akuna kitu mzuri or akuna kitu like something good news when the doctor tells you that your baby is fine inside your belly. So Mia was like, it's okay. Uh, akuna clinic nili hata. I used to go every clinic. And um, during my pregnancy, unajua watu ngini wanasema nga, like, uh, maybe niko na cravings za hii, sikuli hii, napenda hii. Okay, me, my pregnancy was very smooth. And uh, I can't complain about cravings because I used to, eat almost everything so me nilijua like ah the baby is okay now ikafika now the day of giving birth and uh, 
mimi nimeenda hapo labor kama kawaida uko hapo hosi then ukafikiwa sasa it's your turn now the labor ndio hiyo sasa ime come then I, i like i gave birth normally no cs no any complications but now uh, the nurse told me that now your baby is underweight and if you don't like breastfeed him during this period zenye utakuwa hosi itamaanisha ataenda wapi ataenda kwa um, incubator you all know the incubator wina like it's ni place yenye most of under, underweight like children wanawe kwangwa ndio ikifika a certain age ama a certain time wanatolewa so me i was very afraid that eh underweight aje like nilikuwa like aje na venye nilikuwa nakula nafanya like hakuna akisikwa na skip anything the medicines everything i was doing everything so me i was worried i was like a little cards underweight you know like a woman ana unajipata ngatu uko na maswali mingi za kujiuliza na zingine hata upati jibu yani wewe unajiuliza tu maswali but uko like unajiconsult tu hapo so that was about november and nikaka hosi almost uh, one week uh, wakimwangalia tu waone kama ata like ata breastfeed or something funny enough he didn't he like within your period ya yeah, one week akuwai aku like aku breastfeed now the doctors were like you need to like even pump your your nyonyo at least maziwa i talk and you upe um mtoto mtoto a like a grow to vizuri asipelekwe incubator so i was really trying you know kama mama una you try your best just to make sure your baby ako sawa and your baby lives so i really used to try so uh a uh, god ni nani so one day hapo nimejaribu jaribu then my son akaanza ku breastfeed and the day i breastfeed i was like thank you lord i've been praying for this day and the day imefika so my son finally breastfed and upon your around in the middle of the day like in the course of the day nika kwa discharge because he really breastfed mbaka at least akaonesha signs that ako sawa so yeah it happened like that like that tukasongesha january february hivo now ikafika in the middle of the in the middle of the year uh, this year now my baby got sick where that was the moment that sita waisa how this year like it was sijui ni sema aje my baby was almost like in a critical condition and i was like nilitoka kwa the first part of maybe breastfeeding him dia survive now another thing imekuja so ah uh, kama kawaida uko like wacha tumpeleke hosi tujue ni nini shida now me and the dad tukamua tumpeleke hosi now the first hospital to kind i won't say the name but unapewa tu madawa you know like they don't really consider kupima mtoto wajue shida ya mtoto the root of everything iko wapi so sisi tukapewa dawa tutapea mtoto mtoto akakuwa like was 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 and was ai nikasema you know as a mother we collect no I, can, I i will do everything hata kama ni hizi madawa za kienyeji mtoto apone and stuff so one nikasema tu ah let me decide niende kenya cha labda waweza nisaidia cuz tulikuwa tumejaribu like some many horses unaona mi ro yangu tu kaniambia why don't you just go to kenyata now my habi happens to have a friend of of his hosi she's a nurse i guess and uh, the nurse advised us to kwenda hosi aka to direct direct on where to go kufika tukapata like the reception was so nice and they really treated our baby but uh, the news we got from the doctor was that your baby akona anemia now me kwa roho yangu ni like anemia ile ugonjwa ya, ya damu ile you know like 
okay, sorry to say that, that, but you know, as a mom, who like, guys, sasa, ata yuko kwa, like, yuko kwa lineage yetu that ugonjwa. Mbona lazima ikuetu kwa mtoto wangu ndia kwe the first person. So, I had so many questions to ask the doctor, like, kosi yake ni nini, treatment, now the doctor can yambia, no, like, see yo anemi unafikiria, anemi enye iko ni, analak a certain, a certain, a certain type of food. The doctor told told me that and I like a certain food. That's why I kona I kona name me. I can say Oh, thank God. Like as a mom, we call like Felix. At least see le complicated sana that CG ita kuwa aki grow up ita msumbwa in life. Cause the reason I was really afraid, by the way, it's because me most of my life ni me shi hosi. Now some many conditions that really affected my life, really affected my health. So nilikuwa tu na wari ile designer, isi, isi kwe ile ugonjwe nye itafika mali ita affect mtoto wangu venye, me nilia ili ni affect, most of the sickness is ili ni affect. So as a mother definitely lazimu unge kwa na hizo ma thoughts and uh, women watching or mothers watching you will agree with me like sometimes unakwanga too like shock to kiambiwa a certain uh, news by the doctor so me nili kwa too shocked but the doctor karudia kaniambia like it's fine see it's not really that alarming so long as you just follow what uh, I'll tell you to do or just uh Mfollow two medicines mumpe vizuri venye nitawambia vitu zitenda poa. So ya, yeah, uh, tukaenda home, tukapewa ma, okay, tukapewa madawa, tukatoka usi, tukaenda home. And uh, within, tuka, okay, tuka unashugulikia mtoto, and uh, we really thank God and we really thanked the doctor because we felt like the doctor ali chia our son with love and Within one week, when you tulimpia madawa, our son alirudi akakuwa sawa. No more sickness, no more anything. Like the boy was so healthy. And as I've told you that I'm just going to share with you some of the happy moments that happened to me this year. Now that is my happy moment because losing losing a baby or losing something that you love or someone that you love you all know that it's not easy. And me, ilifika point ilikuwa na feel like. Badala goda ni alaika pe mtutu wangu ugonjwa. Like we are in and out the hospital. I'm healed too. Like nilikuwa, that was always my prayer. Like God healed too mtoyo wangu. Mtoyo wangu akwe too healthy. Nini. So um, I was really happy to just know that God was with us. And my son was born to stay and i'm really happy and i'm really um I'm, I'm really proud to say that i celebrated my son's birthday he turned one recently and okay this year uh, november definitely so i will i'm really happy that at least i've celebrated our first birthday and i know i'll, cere I'll celebrate more of his birthdays and I'll, I'll just be happy and just seeing him grow will always make me happy because Niki Kumbuka venye nilimza venye alikuwa anatoshana like he was very tiny alikuwa mdogo. Then, uh, yo udogo hake, nakwambia maka nadungwa sindano na hosi uko like guy. Sasa umtoto mdogo pia nadungwa sindano. Like it was just, it was just a moment that I live to remember and when I see I see him grow I'll always be thankful to God that at least I'm in Fikisha Hapo and uh, I must say that since I went to Kenyatta I'm really happy to see my son grow very very healthy because they did all they could to just see my son healthy, see my son grow, see my son like in good shape, no, akuno ugonjwa yoyote, and I'm really thankful for that. 
yeah so guys me i don't know about you kindly like comment your happiest moment that has happened to you this year najua imekuwa here ya elections imekuwa here yeah yeah so many so many things economical yeah i don't know just how to explain yeah imekuwa to here of so many things but i know there is that one thing that you feel it has uh, like me make here yako imekuwa poa ebu comment hapo chini una how do you want to end your year like hiyo ni kitu gani hapo imekufanya like ukiangalia when you look back to the year 2002 the year 2022 unakumbuka nini mzuri like what has that one thing that has happened to you that it it will always remind you of the year 2022 So me it's all about my son the struggles about his health and uh, seeing seeing him grow with, through this year all the challenges nini nini I'm happy that at least to me overcome all that and I'm here as a happy mom uh, just I'm just happy to share with you that I'm grateful to God that This year I may make ya yangu ikwe happy because I may pay mtoto wangu life, I may pay mtoto wangu good health and I'm really grateful. The reason I'm so much grateful about my son is because I have a daughter yes, but akuwai kwana all these complications. He was she was okay and kukwana son you may nyonesha he kumbe things zio change unaona. So it was a struggle at the first but God ali come through I can make sure vitu ziko poa and I'm here to just thank God for the year thank God for my son and thank God for everything that has has happened in 2022 and again thank you so much for our politicians who will make elections zikakuwa so peaceful eh hakuna fightings in the street and Yeah, zikwe hivyo kila siku. Uh, every election ni poa zikiwa hivyo cuz previous elections watu wamekuwa waki lose their lives and it just quick end up vizuri but for this one me I'm grateful that things zilienda vizuri and I'm just grateful about a lot but my my main my main thing is that I'm so grateful that God gave me gave my son another chance to live so thank you so much for watching guys and if you have watched this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly consider subscribing kindly consider sharing my videos consider like liking and commenting to my videos and yeah your opinion always will help me to know how to just interact with you in one way or another so Till next time see you in my next video bye